Hi, I'm excited to talk to you about your book trailer project that's coming due. Uh, this is going to be exciting. I've really liked this project a lot. So hopefully you've been reading your book and we're getting to a point where you're getting finished with that so that you can start working actually on the book trailer part of it. So I'm going to talk to you about what that's going to look like. Um, so book trailers should have four main parts. This is very similar to what you had with the book display project, but you are going to have the hook, um, which is that one sentence or one line that grabs you and makes you want to read, read the story or read the book. Um, you're going to have a little bit about the story, give a little bit of hint as to what's happening to it. In the book trailer, it's going to be kind of a video or a, a video review of the book. So you're going to have text and you're going to have images that you'll have as part of that as well. So again, remember that the hook, I'll just kind of talk briefly about each one. The hook is something interesting that happens at the very beginning to grab the viewer's attention. You're not going to say, hey, here's my hook and then say it. It's going to be just something that grabs people's attention. And you'll have access to this presentation. In each of these, I've got little uh, help or information that you can click on to get more ideas about what it's all about. Um, the second component is the story. So you've got the plot, the characters, just a hint at the conflict that's introduced in the video. Um, storyboarding or scripting is really, really helpful. Um, and so again, here's some ideas. And storyboarding or scripting will give you an idea of what you should say during the video. Um, you may not have speaking components in the video, and I'll show you some examples, uh, or I'll show you the link to where you can get examples of this. Um, but you may be using text as well. So again, that text is going to be an important component. You're going to want to be brief and to the point. Think about like a commercial, what a commercial would look like on television. You're not having lots and lots of things for people to read. You're having it short and to the point. And then, of course, you're going to have images. And so you'll use our copyright free images. Again, I've got a link here to where we're going to get our copyright free images. Um, but that's important that you choose ones that go with your story. So I've got examples here of a couple of spots. There's a site that's called Teaching Books, and then there's the Rosies for book trailer examples. I would click on one and play for you, but I can't do a video and a video. It just doesn't work when you're recording that way. So again, these are links where you can access that information. I do have a rubric that will give you ideas on what we're looking at in terms of my scoring. So I'm looking at the hook, I'm looking at your story, those four components that I just talked about, text and images, organization, mechanics, are you spelling everything properly, using complete sentences, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're including citations for the images that we use, and the length of trailer, it's got to be a hundred, um, one minute, 30 seconds long at least to get the full score. So that's our rubric scoring. Um, there are a lot of video creation tools that we can use, and I've got a few of them listed. So we've got video editing for the computer, which is here, and then video editing apps for your phone, which you can download pretty easily to, to access that. And that should be it for your book trailer. There's a lot of um, really easy things that you can do with this, and I do want to show you on our library page, remember if we go to the Avon Community School Corporation page and go to the high school page, we're going to click on the menu and library here. And then I'm going to show you because you, yours are going to be up here soon. Right down here in the middle of the screen, we've got book trailers. And so these are the ones that are made by our library media students. So you can click on and look through those and see what, what people before you have done. I'm going to be posting a few more as well here shortly. Um, with all of these, these did not necessarily all receive A grades, just so you know, so that there's a wide variety of ranges, but I put everybody's up here. Um, and so that you will have a real audience and these will, yours will be on the website as well. So we'll work through this. Um, our due date's a couple weeks after or a week after uh, spring break. So just be aware of that. And if you have questions, we'll definitely talk about it. Thanks for listening.